Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is uh, November 22nd of 2022. In eight minutes, it will be November 23rd. A uh, little bit of an update. Um, let's see. Um, let me go to... Start page here. Um, what am I looking for? Amazon, I think. Yeah, that's what I want. Go to Amazon and go to um, what's going on here? Uh, um, well, I went to Amazon Photos, I think. I want to actually go to Amazon. Okay. Uh, go to Orders. Okay. I ordered this uh, the other day, and I received it. Uh or renewed or refurbished or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Dell computer. And uh, it came uh, shipping was, you know, a great box. The box just fit it, but then inside they had uh, the uh, packing material and uh, I mean, it was just packed great. Not a, you know, it's refurbished, not a mark on it. I mean, it, I mean, easily you could uh, say it was brand new. It looked brand new. Everything was perfectly clean. No spots, no scratches, nothing. And so I, uh, you know, hooked it up, turned it on, and... Uh, it's actually not as hard as it is probably, well, it depends, I guess, how your computer and everything is set up. For me, I mean, it took a little bit of time, but I've, you know, uh, I use the password manager, and I use, uh, everything is set up to pretty much, so everything was installed, you know, the browser and the browser, all the uh, uh, links were there on my screens, multiple screens that I have and stuff like, uh, well, let me show you that maybe. Um, I've got these screens, you know, set up. You know, this is the start page. Here are my bookmarks. The ham radio stuff is grouped together. Uh, the money stuff is grouped together. My medical, you know, where prescriptions, I mean, everything is all set up. And, and uh, uh, things like that. But it did take me a little bit of time. And it was, you know, everything was then ready, just about to go. A few things to go. Um, I think what I was doing was, I think I was just plugging in the, because I checked the uh, speed test. And uh, and uh, it was, you know, it was it was low. Oops, that's not that's images of you know. Uh, come on here. It's. Uh, Almost midnight. I'm a little tired. I didn't get much. I don't get much sleep anymore at my age. I'm 80. Uh, I'm 81, I guess. So, oh, come on. I clicked on that same thing again. Well, Bing, no wonder I've got Bing, and I don't, I don't use Bing. 
Um, anyway, um, so everything was just about installed, and I was, oh, okay, you know, won't have to go through this for a while, I thought, and uh, I think I was plugging it, oh, I got a, you know, the, the, uh, I mean, compared to 300 baud when I started in 1982, <laughs> that's what, you know, the speed of the internet, well, internet had been a, uh, well, anyway. Um, so it was, uh, I think, like 40 down or something like that. And, of course, just a little bit away was my, you know, a place where I could plug in my network, you know, a networking cable <coughs> and get, uh, you know, 700 down and 40 up and stuff. So I was doing that, plugging that in, and boom, I looked over at the screen and it was a uh, hard drive crash, uh, hard drive, you know, it automatically started doing a, you know, uh, we're going to fix this, you know, we're going to fix this for you, don't touch the computer, and it was doing this. You know, this was the... Uh, the new computer that I just got, uh, doing that kind of stuff, and then it, you know, failed, couldn't do whatever, and boom. <laughs> so I messed with it for a little bit, and uh, I wrote down the codes that they presented on the screen, you know, so I could call, you know, uh, or log in to Amazon's whatever service they were using for that, all that. And then I, uh, I just decided to hell with it because I can. Uh, the thing was totally guaranteed. For three months, you could, ret you know, you could return this. You know, this computer for within three months, get a total refund. Also, they had a, you know, helplines, place you could log in. You could all this kind. Of and I just decided, no, to hell with it. I just don't want to go through this, you know. So I put everything back in the box, perfect. <coughs> and then I kind of moped around here a little bit. I think I made a YouTube video, though. And uh, on my computer, which has been giving me trouble with the audio for uh, a long time. And I thought, please... Uh, you know, I don't want any problems at this point. I just want to. Uh, but I was, I was going to send it back. It's still sitting on a box over there. Everything's packed neatly. And then I uh, uploaded the video, and the video was okay. The sync was okay. You know, that type of stuff. And then I went to bed, and then I woke up, and I thought, you know. Uh, I should I should mess with it, you know, the computer a little bit, see if I could. And I thought too, you know, uh, I could just buy an SSD uh, hard drive in case it, you know, in case it is that hard drive, and the new one, you know. <coughs> I uh, thought, you know, I could just buy one and put it in, and one, you know, that that probably might fix it and you know two you know if it does you know fix it uh, well even if it doesn't fix it I have a larger SSD that I could use on one of my other computers here uh, you know and I've got you know my computer here which is running Windows 11 and I've got my uh, HP over there that is running Chrome uh, operating system and I've got I don't use it but I've got a that I've never used I've got a old Apple laptop here I've got a Chrome let's see Chrome book that I <coughs> I almost never use what else anyway I thought you know I have this if it if I order in and I can get it next day it's midnight now but uh, if I order here in a little bit, I can get next day, I can get it 
well, later today now because it's 12.02 a.m. And if it doesn't fix the problem with this computer that I just got in for less than $200, um, I, um, I thought, well, you know, I will now I have an SSD that I can put in one of these computers and I really need it for my uh, HP Chrome box. I forget how much memory that had, but from the very beginning uh, I didn't do, I didn't think I did very much. Uh, now a bunch of uh, the software that I was using, it was saving <coughs> YouTube videos that I made it was saving, and of course I went through and deleted, you know, these large files that were on there. But I still got uh, whatever the message that Chrome gives, you know, that I forget, you know, saying that, you know, you need to delete some stuff. And I thought, well, that, you know, if the thing doesn't work, I'll just get in there and give it a, you know, terabyte of storage that way. And, uh, so that's what uh, I decided that I was going to do. And then I, <clears throat> you know, I just woke, by the way, when I just woke up, I had no idea. I'm 81 years old. And I had no idea what time it was. And I saw it was 6. And uh, I thought it was 6 p.m. And it was like 6 a.m., of course. Um, So, I think what I'm going to, oh, anyway, then I went to read my email messages, and uh, a uh, user who comments from time to time with great, you know, help, and uh, sort of rational thinking, too, and uh, whatever, and he's made some helpful suggestions in the past, in the recent past, too. And he said, uh, he says, I know you probably don't want to, but really what you might want to do is just get a new SSD <coughs> drive and put it in there. <coughs> That's exactly what I I just thought when I woke up. And uh, so um, I think that's what I'm going to do is order an SSD Let's say a terabyte I can probably get for like seventy dollars or something like that and uh, put it in the the new or the you know the refurbished Dell computer that I got and uh, see if that fixes the you know if it doesn't fix the problem <clears throat> and then I'll just put it into one of the, and the, the HP Dell, uh, or HP uh, Chrome box, uh, it could definitely, you know, use it. I could use it, so. So I guess uh, I'm going to have something to keep me busy here for a little bit. I probably won't mess with it a whole lot because I just don't want to do that, you know, anymore. <clears throat> um, I mean, unless I have to. Um, I'm using Manicam to make this uh, YouTube video. <clears throat> I'm a little concerned, I mentioned that in the previous video, that I was going to have uh, the problem of video being out of sync with the audio so I hope this isn't although I mentioned in the last video that what I that I had a, again woke up sometime from, from a nap and thought mm, I know what I'm going to do if this Manicam starts giving me that problem again what I'm just going to do is <clears throat> you'll see video I'll make a video and you'll uh, Oh yeah, so I won't have the uh, 
it'll be video of me. Well, that would be out of sync. But what I'll do is, there won't be a video of me talking and showing you, you know, things, clicking on them and that kind of stuff. Because then you're going to see that the video is not synced and it's out of whack and kind of bugs me as much as it bugs you, I guess. So I got some ideas to, uh, to do. Uh, what I would like most would be when I order the uh, one terabyte SSD that I put it in that refurbished computer that I've got sitting over there and it boxed up and that, that it would work. And that would be my uh, first choice. On the other hand, I think because of this when it was, uh, when it popped up and just started automatically, you know, fixing the hard drive, and then it said this may take an hour to fix it, and then when it came back right away, <clears throat> and uh, I'm afraid that, because uh, they've got it all set up, I could see the results, you know, because it, it uh, gave me on the screen all the, you know, the numbers to, uh, tell them when I contacted them, you know, that such and such a number, such and such a number, and uh, so that they would be able to help me online. But I really don't want to do that online. One, if the person has, I, I'm, i uh, well, online would be online, not, not on the cell phone. But if I'm talking to somebody on the cell phone, if they have an accent, uh, with my hearing loss that I've had, that I have, and it's pretty severe, and I've had it since I was in the first grade. So, and my parents never had it to talk, you know, have never had a doctor see me about it, or had a hearing test or anything like that. And I can't blame them because when I, you know, started working right away, I had you know a union job and health care and all that kind of, and I did I never in my entire life went to a doctor about my hearing. You know, there's several things, and part of it is, I tried to explain it to somebody one time. That was, that was when I was working security at, uh, in Miami at Dadeland Mall. And they put me a few times into dispatch. <clears throat> And uh, I tried to explain to this. He was new uh, supervisor. He just basically hired, you know, hired in pretty pretty quick. And I tried to explain to you know because okay, I was in dispatch. Now he was sitting over there with a radio going, and then there was the radios going that I was supposed to be dealing with, and then the telephone would ring, and then. Uh, Somebody would come to the door and say something to me, and uh, people out in the parking garage or whatever would push up an intercom type thing and ask, you know, what level to go to, to you know, that type of stuff. All that stuff was happening at the same time. And with the hearing problem that I had over time, the brain, a whole, a whole bunch of this is, the brain learns and adjusts to whatever. And so what I had was, you didn't need to talk louder to me. That's not my hearing problem, you know. You didn't need to talk louder <laughs> because with then the brain develops so that everything comes into my hearing and I hear everything, and I mean everything. So when all these things, so I, I could be right there at the desk, you know, and there's these stuff, background noise and all that kind of stuff, you know, the. Uh, security supervisor could have been standing at the door, you know, and talking to somebody out in the hall or something. And then the phone would ring and I would pick up the phone and the person was talking to me. Now normally your brain somehow it knows, hey, this is a phone call. And, you know, you need to be hearing that and paying attention to that. But no, everything came in at the same at the same level. 
So him talking, the supervisor talking to somebody in the hall, or a f phone ringing, or somebody pressing an intercom button, or all that kind of stuff, it all comes in. And uh, by the time I had my first job, right after I got out of, well, not right after I got out of high school, because I tried to get into the Army and they wouldn't take me, because I totally forgot about the hearing thing. I was worried about the weight. And the weight is what they said, oh, you're 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. Goodbye. Uh, but I told they always forgot it, I, you know, that the hearing would have kept me out of the military for sure. And it's, it's a, a good thing in a way that I didn't, you know, if when I went down right after high school, you know, the uh, I went down to, because I went to a military high school and I wanted to be in the military and wanted to make a career of it and probably not a good time, you know, <laughs> with the Vietnam War. Uh, but that's what I wanted. But... Uh, Oh, so then my dad paid for me. My father paid for me to go to real estate school because a book had come out that was very popular and he loved the book, How to Make a Million Dollars in Real Estate. And he wanted me to, you know, he'd pay for, and I didn't want to go to real estate. And I told him, no, he said, just do it, you know. So I went to real estate school and I passed. I didn't go take the state exam in Jefferson City because I did not want to do it. And so then my father paid for me to go to a welding school in Cleveland, Ohio, and that's, I went there. And that was a good decision on my dad's part and my part, uh, because for many, many years I made good money being a welder. I could quit, I actually did. I could quit a job on Friday and I could have a new job welding on Monday, making more money and having benefits and that type of stuff. But the second job I had, the first job I didn't have very long, and that was just, you know, I just came back from welding school and there was an ad for uh, welders needed, and I went there and it was a wrought iron decorative iron place. They didn't really need, you know, welders of, uh, that had been through the Lincoln Electric Company, you know. Uh, and then, uh, they ran out of work. Two brothers owned it, real nice guys. And then so I, and they said, sorry, gotta let you guys go. As soon as we get some orders in, you know, we'll, and they did, you know, they kind of, but I'd already taken this other job. Anyway, at that job, building railroad cars, coal haulers mainly, although there was a few times, which was kind of neat in a way. Uh, the guys, when they'd get their pay, I worked second shift or whatever. The guys would come in and pick up their paychecks. So there, let's say there was 80 or 100 guys working the second shift. And uh, uh, the guys would come in and pick up their paychecks every two weeks. And then almost none of them would come back you know, to work. They'd be out partying and drinking and uh, whatever, water makers. And uh, I was not a drinker, by the way. And uh, so I'd be one of the few guys that would show up. And so there's a few times they put me over, you know, working on a uh, uh, caboose. And that was kind of, that was kind of neat. Just, you know, I think we all back then loved the railroads and that kind of stuff. And uh, let's see, we're coming up on 25 minutes here. I hope the uh, sink is, you know, here in a little bit I have to water in that SSD drive. I hope I get this all taken care of. I, I really don't want, to, it seems like I spent all my time messing with the computer. I, by the way, use the link above, please. If you're going to purchase something, if you're just going to look, even if you're just going to go look at Amazon, should I get a big screen TV, should I... Should I get this for the family for Christmas or whatever it is? Please use that link. It takes you to Amazon. And then once you're there, you don't have to click on the things that, that you may see that are things that I picked and put there, but I never have gone back to, you know, 
edit them and adjust them. But just use that link. You go to Amazon. As long as you're there, if you click on a guy fairly recent, I get almost nothing from Amazon. Uh, there was a couple months last year or whatever the year before where I had like two months where I got $70 in each month. That's the maximum that I ever, you know. Um, and it, I get less than $10 a month and, you know, but if you just click that, go there, and if you're going to buy something, or even if you're not going to buy something, you're going to look for something, please click that. So if you're there, if you click on something, uh, about a month or two ago, somebody clicked and purchased a thousand dollar computer and then something, some extra thing for it. And so I'm going to get maybe this month at the end of the month, I think it's $62 in commission. It doesn't cost, you know, you anything. So uh, if you could, please, you please bookmark it or, do, you know, do something. Anyway, uh, jumping back to sort of what, I, what I'm thinking about doing uh, with this Chrome box over here, I can uh, go into uh, Linux. Um, but I think what I want to do maybe is uh, if when I get in this SSD, if it doesn't fix that, I'll return the uh, the computer. I'm, I did like the uh, you know good price, less than two hundred dollars, and every look looks brand new. You could you know I could tell somebody, hey, this is brand new, and they would I'm sure think, yeah, it's brand new because he, uh, but. Um, So, um, I got sidetracked again. Anyway, uh, this video is made with Manny Cam, and uh, this is made on the uh, B Link Mini. That was a, well, no, I'm not going to go into that again. I'd get sidetracked talking about uh, the audio problem with it. But those little, you know, boxes, really little, uh, unless you get one where I had, like I had problems with that audio, with the audio. But uh, I liked, I, I liked, that's why I didn't, you know, I should have, as soon as I got that, brand new, as soon as I got it, I recognized there was this audio problem, static, if I tried to record something and play it back. Otherwise, everything was perfect. You know, I could watch videos, audio, uh, all this kind of stuff. But I, I liked it so much, I didn't want to send it back. And, and the company knew immediately that there was a problem with it. I just tried to work with the problem. That was a mistake. And uh, that I paid for through a lot of agony. <laughs> and recently, you know, when things got uh, then I've got this thing that popped up out of sync, you know, and then sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's not. So, what I may just do with my Chrome box that uses the Chrome operating system, but you can uh, go into their version of uh, Linux. I don't want to do that. I've done that in the past, had, you know, dual boot most of the time. And I tried all the different versions of uh, uh, Linux. But I think what I would, if I'll order in this SSD if it doesn't fix the uh, uh, rehabbed Dell computer, I think I'll just format this. Chrome box and just have a real full version of uh, Linux on it. Then I have to make the decision of which version. 
and uh, yes, I like I like mint, and but I've used a whole bunch of them. Anyway, 30 minutes and 10 seconds. Thank you for watching, and I hope the audio is in sync. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please use that link above.